Hello and welcome back. We are in a new studio finally. I've gotten everything together and set up so I can finally start working in here again. You guys saw a little bit of that in the last video, but it's like actually done this time. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to show how we got from what the previous owners used this room as, which is kind of like a family room den kind of room, all the way to now my studio, which is very different aesthetically and like also functionally. Basically, we had some contractors do a little bit of work. They replaced the drywall or they replaced wood paneling with drywall and put in new floors and same with the ceiling it was like acoustic paneling they replaced with drywall other than that we did pretty much everything ourselves um, I painted all the walls I put all the shelves up and moved furniture in Micah and my brother helped me with a lot of the heavy lifting but other than that I did most of it myself so I'm really proud of it I'm really proud of how it turned out and I'm so happy that I finally have a space where I can work and be in my own space <laughs> my previous apartment I was in the dining room but in my previous space there's a lot of traffic between the kitchen and the living room because without a dining room we were eating our meals in the living room which meant a lot of food was going through my space which is not so good for a sewing area. <laughs> for this I have my own space entirely. It has a door so when I'm filming and other people are being loud I can just shut the door and it's super convenient. So anyways we started this whole process in about April or May and have been working on it since then. We didn't actually move in until June so we were working on it for a couple of months before we moved in and then it's been in progress up until about a week ago. <laughs> so it's super exciting that it's done and I wanted to show you guys like the whole journey. So let's go back and time travel to April. <laughs> It's a really big room, so that's great. However, it's so dark looking, even though it has so many windows because of all of this dark wood paneling. And the paneling honestly is just really outdated. So we're gonna change that. I'm gonna take down these curtains and change out these light fixtures. This is a choice. This is not the choice I would make. I really don't like this lamp at all. And then there's also this like really 70s looking fireplace which I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm not sure that I can do anything without like paying a contractor to really overhaul this, but that's where we are for now. It's just gonna live with this space. Right now we're taking down all the walls because there's nothing behind them. So we need to replace them with drywall. And so in order to do that, we need to remove all of the baseboards and all of the ceiling molding and all of the plywood, not plywood, paneling. We need to remove all of the paneling. We also need to remove all of these ceiling tiles. And it seems like the previous owners of this house set out a bunch of mouse poison and the mice just died all over the house because we found some just stuck to ceiling tiles. I'm not, no, I'm not showing it, that's gross. And we found like seven dead mice in the kitchen and I'm just very like grossed out by this house right now. Ugh. It's been about a month since we moved in and we were able to get new walls and ceiling pretty immediately. Um, so all of the dead mouse situation is handled and that is taken care of, so that's great. However, for the past month, we've been trying to get a hold of contractors to put a new floor in because we also had cabinets ripped out and a fireplace taken out. So where those things were is just subfloor. There's no floor under it. So we need a new floor. Getting a hold of these people has been a freaking nightmare. <laughs> they finally said that they could come in on Thursday. That's two days from now. Um, because they're gonna be coming soon, I thought it would be a good idea to paint all the walls before they come so that if I'm messing up a floor, it's not gonna be the permanent floor, there's gonna be a floor over it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Baby bat is crying, hold on. Say hello. Say hello. It's been so long. It's been so long. Can you say hello? You're just happy to be held like a baby. There's too much dust from the drywall in this room still, so she's not really allowed in here until we get a floor in and they've covered up all that drywall dust. Um, we've already like made a big step with getting all the walls primed. Me and Micah spent the last few days priming the walls and ceiling and also painting the ceiling so I can go ahead with the fun part of coloring everything. Um, but I don't want her little lungs to get filled with drywall dust so she's not allowed in here normally. Okay, baby, I can't sit you down. There's too much dust on the floor. There's too much dust on the floor. Oh, I know, I'm gonna have to take it on that side. All right, so with that, let's, let's get started.
to go and then we've got a rug down um, but I'm super excited now I can actually get my table in here and get everything set up and figure out how I'm gonna organize everything I don't know it's so much space but I need to figure out where to put everything so that it looks pretty so I guess you guys can come along with me while I figure that out and hopefully we will make it look nice put some plants in here uh, yeah cool <laughs> This is the pretty rug that I got. I got it from overstock.com. This is my childhood desk, and this is where the fireplace used to be. This mirror, we're gonna be mounting on the wall. This came from one of the bathrooms. Probably needs a good cleaning too. I need to still buy some lights and figure out what I'm gonna do for these lighting fixtures and what to cover these recessed lights with. Also, it's just kind of dark generally. I don't know, I don't really know why it's so dark in here. The windows are so big, so I feel like there should be more light in here, but we're gonna have to figure out some good lighting stuff. My basic plan for everything is that I've got my shelves here. I'm gonna put my table in front of my shelves and then the sewing machine next to the table. That might be in front of the door, so hmm, who knows, that might be a problem. I'm gonna put all of my computer and bullet journal stuff into my desk so that I have a nice little place to edit and like be on my computer, I guess, and bullet journal. I love bullet journaling and I haven't been able to do it the entire time because I have so much stuff and nowhere to put it, so it's just kind of been living here. This corner, I think I'm gonna put a couple mirrors over here and that's gonna be my fitting area. Like this half of the room, I think, is gonna be kind of the take photos of my progress and do fitting videos and all that kind of stuff. For this window here, I wanna stick some shelves under it, like this kind of shelf that I have as the base of my work table. I wanna stick one of those shelves there so it can be a bench and also some storage and like a nice place to do some hand sewing. That's the general plan so far. We'll see if we stick to that plan. Let's get started. Alright, so we've still got a big mess here, but I've gotten pretty much all of my fabric put away, so that's great news. Hello, baby bat. 
Hi there. Oh, she's not in focus. Why not? I'm having trouble focusing on her. Be it. Look at that sleepy girl. She's so happy to be back on this table. She's just like, oh, finally, all my things are back. I still have this whole half of the room left. I think that I'm gonna keep it as the photo area, so I'm trying to empty that out. And I was thinking I might make it like a nice, cute sitting room area when I'm not doing photos. That way there's places for people to sit when they wanna hang out with me while I'm trapped in here forever doing like hand beating or whatever. Uh, and then I also can get some like cute photogenic furniture that will be double used for filming. This is is the mirror that we put up. This was in our powder room before, but we scrapped the old vanity because it hadn't been updated since the 50s. It was like that ugly Pepto-Bismol pink weird melamine countertop. So we got rid of that, but it doesn't have a frame because it was a bathroom mirror. So I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up some flower garlands from Michaels and just kind of put them around the edges so it's nice and pretty and covered. I've also been working on putting away patterns. My storage method for patterns, I kind of just copied what fabric stores do. And instead of keeping them all in their original envelopes, I transfer them to manila envelopes and I keep them in file cabinets like this. It's kind of dark over here, sorry about that. But I keep them like this and then I label them with their pattern number. So like all the M's for McCall's patterns. When I want to find a specific pattern, I have my little pattern catalog that's kind of like the books that you see at Joann's when you buy patterns. And I can like just look at them and say, oh, I want Simplicity 1887. I can go to my file cabinet, pull that out, and it's super easy. It it's a lot easier to organize it than trying to keep them in their normal envelope. And other than that, I'm just kind of trying to like get this whole situation to be not on my table. I put my books up here and I have so many books that I'm kind of still trying to figure out how I want to organize those. I also put these shelves up myself and I'm not 100% confident in how sturdy they are so I'm trying to spread the books out along the shelf so there's not too much weight in any one space. I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully I can find space for everything. everything together. Uh, sorry that a lot of that was off camera, but uh, I will show you guys around a little bit. One of the last two things we're going to do is to cover this table so it can be an ironing table. I should probably get this junk off of here first. Okay, I got this table from Wayfair. Had to assemble it myself, so you know, I did it. I assembled it. I've sat on this table so it will hold some weight. <laughs> I don't know. It's not gonna hold that much weight anyways because like when you're ironing stuff, like what, the heaviest dress that I will probably ever make will be no more than 50 pounds, and that's probably pushing it already. Hopefully I never make a dress that's 50 pounds. That would be a lot of effort to wear. When I iron stuff, I like to sometimes pin into whatever I'm ironing. Um, this will be a lot better than using an ironing board, obviously, because it's much bigger. Basically, when I was looking for a table, I wanted something that was at least 60 inches wide, since that is the widest a bolt of fabric will probably ever be in my studio. Hopefully nothing larger will come through. Um, and then I wanted it to be at least 30 inches in depth so that I could roll fabric out a decent amount while I'm pressing it um, and I can roll stuff onto bolts. So I have some home soap. I bought this at Home Depot. Lowe's does not carry it. Home Depot will tell you they don't carry it, but they do, I promise. Over by like the drywall section. And then I've got some soft medium loft batting that will go on top so that I have like a nice soft layer for pressing because you know you kind of need it to be squishy a little bit for pressing and then I have a whole bunch of muslin I hope this is enough I think it should be fine um, to go on top of that and then I'm gonna attach everything together with a staple gun this was the second cheapest staple gun I could find uh, I figured I shouldn't buy the absolute cheapest it looked a little flimsy so staple gun homosote batting and muslin 
And the Hama they will cut for you in store so you can get it cut to your specific dimensions you need. The table is, like I mentioned, from Wayfair. It's on risers because it was a little too short. So that's what we've got so far. And that, that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm just going to be assembling the rest of the layers of this table. And yeah, let's do that. Okay, layer on my soap. so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video I know personally I enjoy watching videos where people set up their studios and getting to see the before and after and how everything has changed a lot so hopefully this was enjoyable for you guys too now that I've got a studio I can start making sewing videos again which is super exciting I hope that you guys are excited too I was gonna put a whole studio tour at the end of this video but it's already getting really long so I'm thinking maybe if you guys are interested I'll just make a separate studio tour video where I get kind of less into the just surface level of my studio and more into where I'm keeping everything like what books and materials I like to keep on hand and what I think is really useful in a functioning professional sewing studio. If you're interested in that let me know and I will make that video as well. However next weekend is costume symposium so there's gonna be a little bit of a different video next week. I'm gonna be analyzing the famous strawberry dress from the like viewpoint of a couture trained costume production person because that's what I am. It was actually a suggestion 
from the comments of one of my videos where I did a photo day wearing the dress. I suggested that because most of the YouTubers who do videos on the strawberry dress might not have the training that I have, and then because the YouTubers who have the training that I do might not be into the strawberry dress, uh, that it would be interesting to do this analysis uh, as coming from both sides. So. I took that and ran with it, and that's what's going to be my video for Costume Symposium. However, there's going to be a lot of really awesome videos. I really encourage you to check them out. It's mostly just a weekend where costumers can really put forth really interesting content that's like informative or educational or just fun to watch. So that'll be happening all weekend, I think from Thursday or Wednesday to Sunday, and you should really check it out. Uh, but now I'm rambling a lot, so let's do the outro. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to talk to me or you have any comments, you liked what I did with my studio, you hated it, I don't know, let me know in the comments. I like to talk to you guys. Uh, and then if you want to see more of my videos in the future, I mostly do sewing videos. It's not always just craft videos or like making a room exist videos. But if you're interested in sewing videos, then please subscribe or just subscribe because you like my personality. <laughs> or something. Okay, uh, I am talking a lot, so I will let you guys go. Okay, bye. <laughs>